Hi everyone, it's Brittany from Brittany Loves Reading and it is just after Christmas. It is the 31st of December and I don't think you're going to be seeing this video for a couple weeks though because I have so much end of the year content to put out with lists and best books of the year and 23 and 23 and all that stuff and announcement videos and there's a lot coming out. But Indigo Books, which is kind of like the Canadian version of Barnes & Noble, is having a 40% off hardcover sale and I need to go to it. I need to go. Today's the last day and I need to go. Plus, I got a bunch of gift cards for Christmas for Indigo Books because my family loves me and they don't know which books to buy, so they would rather just give me gift cards. So not only do I have 40% off, I'm also going to have a bunch of free gift card books. So, you know, of course I'm going to go shopping. That's just what, what I'm going to do. I figured... I don't really need to buy books, but need, want. What is need? What is need? But I kind of justified it by saying I was going to make a shop with me video to for content. That being said, I'm going to take you with me and see what books I get for this hardcover sale. I have no idea what I'm going to pick up. I have a couple of books in mind, but I am just going to kind of look through the shelves, see what I see what calls to me and pick it up. Pretty much that's, that's my only plan. So I'll take you with me and when I get back, I'll do a little mini haul and I'll show you what I got. From the bookstore and I bought more books than I needed I mean realistically I didn't need any books so any books was more book than I needed but I ended up getting six new hardcovers for my shelves what have I done the prices were just so good though and I wanted these so it is what it is the first book that I picked up was children of blood and bone this is a book that I've had my eye on for a while and for 40% off, I just had to have this in my pile. It is a pretty chunky fantasy and I cannot wait to read it. Hopefully soon. I always say that with book hauls that I'm going to read them soon and then I don't, but I have high hopes to be picking this up fairly soon. This follows Zeely and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but whenever I read it, I will probably have the audiobook and we'll get the pronunciation correctly. And Zeely remembers when the soil hummed with magic, but everything changed once magic disappeared under the orders of a ruthless king. The magi were targeted and killed, living Zeely without a mother and her people without hope. Now Zeely has one chance to bring back magic and strike against the monarchy. I've heard such great things about this, and I'm so glad I finally own it. The next book I picked up was Outlawed by Anna North. This follows Ada. And Ada's life is not going exactly how she planned. She has gotten married at 17, and after a year of marriage, she still has not become pregnant. And in her society, and at this time in history, I think it's set in 1894, women who aren't being pregnant are being hung as witches. That is terrifying. So she decides to run and be an outlaw and join the Hole in the Wall gang, which is a band of outlaws led by preacher turned robber known to all as the kid. I know this has some queer rep in it as well. And it's pretty short. It's under 300 pages. I am excited to have a shorter book on my TBR because I did pick up some really chunky fantasy. So a shorter option is always nice. The next book I picked up was Iron Widow. I've had my eye on Iron Widow for a while 
And I just read the synopsis and I honestly think it's a bit too complex for me to like summarize any further, but I'm sure you've heard of Iron Widow. It's been around booktube for a while. I'm just excited to finally have it. It's been on my kind of plans, my plans that are in my head to read it in 2023, because I do believe this is the first in the series and I don't want to get too behind on the series. This book was almost guaranteedly to end up in this haul, and that was Spells for Forgetting by Adrienne Young. I love a witchy book. This is a witchy book. I've heard so many amazing things about it. This follows Emery, and Emery's life changed the night that her best friend was found murdered, and then her boyfriend was accused of murder, her boyfriend August. He goes away for her murder, and... Emery has to start running her family business, which is a herbal tea shop in tea reading store, shop, something like that. And 14 years later, August returns and they look into what really happened 14 years earlier. Very excited to read this. Another book that I've been hearing so much about and had to get while I was at the store was The Luminaries by Susan Dennard. Winnie Wednesday wants nothing more than to join the Luminaries, the ancient order that protects Winnie's town and the rest of humanity from the monsters and nightmares that rise in the forest of Hemlock Falls. Ever since her father was exposed as a witch and traitor, Winnie and her family have been shunned, but on her 16th birthday, she can take the deadly Luminary Hunter trials and prove herself true and loyal and restore her family's good name or die trying. I've heard amazing things about this from people who've already read it, and I'm so glad to have a copy. This last book was actually one that I did not even know existed until I saw it at the store, and that was Night of the Raven, Dawn of the Dove. This sounded amazing, and I cannot synopsize it because I, I only read the synopsis in the store. I was like, that sounds great, and I've forgotten, and I just looked at it again, and it seems a bit complicated. But look it up. It sounds really good. You can read the synopsis for yourself. But I just saw it, read the synopsis, like I said, and was like, yes, I'm picking that up. I know nothing about it, but now I own it. One of the other reasons I had to get it was this cover. So not only did it sound amazing, but that cover sold me. And 40% off. You have to have one, like random book end up in your cart, right? Well, that's my haul from the 40% off hardcover sale at Indigo Books. Thank you so much for coming with me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.